Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at the brand new update that is now available for Botanic. Botanic is a beautiful tree and grass library which you can use to populate grassy trees and also shrubs directly onto your scene when working with Blender. And for sure, for those who already own Botanic, you can actually come through and update it. And for those who would like to take a look at what this looks like, there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here. So right now, they also have a 30% coupon for those who would like to grab this. And for sure, the Botanic 6.3 does come with a couple of cool stuff. Now, one of the things that you'll be getting with the Botanic 6.3 is 21 new assets which you can work with. And there is now something even way beautiful. Animations is now here for Botanic 6.3. So just in case you want to animate your trees right now, this is something that is super possible. And for those who like to also take a look at some of the things that is also possible right here, link to that is going to be in the description so you can do well to check it out. Now with this said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, what you can do once you purchase the add-on is go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. And with that done, let's go in and throw in a simple grid right here. Here, press N on the keyboard and you notice that we have polygonic right over here. Now if you click on the polygonic you can now choose to spawn an asset. So in this case we can select any of the assets that we want, click and bring that right in. So there is something about this one that makes a lot of sense and it is the fact that the animation actually plays back a bit more faster compared to some other animation tools that you can actually play with. So right here once we have this one selected we can now go over and make sure that you convert it to editable. Now once you click on convert to editable you would now notice that we have the wind animation and there's a plus sign here that allows you to add animation to your model. So we can click on the plus sign and we have that right here and of course you can also see that we have a setting that deals with the type of wind that we would like to work with. If we need simple breeze we can have that click on set to set that and if we would like to play with the strength we can also play with the strength however we choose and click on set to set that. And with that there if you press the playback button you would now notice that we have this thing animated right here within your viewport. Now if there's anything that you would like to change, maybe you want to play with how this is going to be visible, let's say you don't want the bending to be visible, you can turn that off or you can turn it on. If you like to have some you know stuff like that you can also go in and turn these things on and off right here there's also a brand new update that deals with the trees so right now there's extra three trees that you can work with and of course there is nine new shrubs that you can also play with now regardless of all of these we've already talked about the idea that botanic is more like an all-in-one package for those who like to scatter things directly on their scene and maybe if you like to also draw some very nice vegetations you know you want to draw some nice ivies all of those things, if you like to draw them on top of a surface, you can now do this with ease. Now, on top of this as well, if you click on the spawn and you click on this button, you can also see some very nice rocks which you can throw into your scene. Very nice for the grammatry rocks that you can work with and you can check these things out. Very lovely stuff. And you can also go in and check out some miscellaneous things that deals with some of the assets that you can also throw into your scene. And there's quite a lot. In terms of guarding, there's some very cool props that you can use to populate your scene and in this case we can simply click on one of these and click that to bring that right over there and we can just simply move this one to a given location like that and you can see some stuff that you can just use to start creating things on the fly so if you like to scatter things around your scene let's say you want to have some assets just simply floating around your scene or you know you just want to get something that is a bit more lifelike and you don't want to go in and start tweaking these things all by yourself just click on the scatter asset button click on the plus sign select the kind of assets that you like to scatter in this case we're just going to go with flowers click on ok and because you have this selected you now have this one right here so we've already talked about the idea that there is a beautiful weight painting tool that you can use to paint weight in case you just don't want so many things within your viewport at the same time maybe you just want to paint weight and we've also talked about the idea that there's a very nice recalculation density that exists so contrary to so many other tools that we've talked about once you rescale this all right so let's just go in and scale this and of course you can see how crazy this is right now if we would like to get exactly the same thing that we already threw in here, we can click on recalculate density and it will go through, take a look at the shape or the base shape that we have, recalculate density and we can get some cooler things right here within the viewport. And you can also turn on and turn off the maximum and the minimum particles that you want. And you can also play with the numbers of things that you want to see within your viewport. So very cool stuff that they have right here. Let's actually go in and set this to zero point five we can drop that down and you can see that right there updating within your viewport and then we can also choose to actually drop this down 
So let's make sure that we have this one down by one zero, press the enter key and you can see these things right here. So of course we know that we have this one all the way up there. So let's go in, select that, bring that right down to a point like this. Let's just make sure that we are looking at the right things. Okay. So we're just going to raise this one to a given point, maybe something like that. All right. So that doesn't look bad. That looks great. So once we have that right there, we can see we have this selected, hit the recalculate button to recalculate the density. And we have the appropriate thing that we need within our viewport. So lots of cool things that you can do with this. And we already talked about something that deals with how you can now easily draw directly on a surface. So let's say for this example, we're just going to go in and get a simple UV sphere. So let's just get that. And let's make sure that we position this to the center, raise this all the way up. And of course, we would like to subdivide this. So let's just subdivide this by two, right click, make it a smooth shade, go right here, apply it, and then we would want to draw right on top of it. So if you already have like a, let's say you have like a wall and you like to make some legumes or you like to make some ivies just grow on top of it, you can now do that. So all you need to do is just select this object, click on this button as it is, select this drop down, and then make sure that you have the object that you want selected. In our case, we have it as a sphere. So we're just going to click on that sphere and then we can now draw right on top of it. So depending on how we would like our IV to travel, we can have it. And once we are done with it, we can click on the word convert and this is going to convert it to some very nice IVs. And of course you can use all of these IVs or climbers and beautify your scene. So tons of cool possibility that you have right now with Botanic 6.3 and of course, for those who like to animate their scenes, maybe you like to animate the trees. You want to get something that is cool that gives you both props, a scatter feature, trees, shrubs, grasses, and lots more. I think Botanic is the tool that you should consider taking a look at. So link is going to be in the description for you to come through and check it out. And right now with this brand new release, there is a coupon code right here that can give you 30% off. And of course, the folks at Botanic are the creators of the car library, the material, material leak, and also the render manager. So this is more like it. For those who like to check this one out, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.